project is reimagining a lot of the famous football clubs in Europe. They have their own uh, themes and songs and hymns. I've taken and rearranged about 15 of these songs, and we're, we're doing it uh, here in L.A. with the, the top-tier orchestra and choir and huge percussion battery and just injecting that big cinematic, epic style into these wonderful melodies. My regular day job, if you will, is uh, for the past 20 years, I co-own a company called Immediate Music, and we write and produce music for big film trailers. I got really inspired uh, by the, the passion and the zest that the fans have for the game and also for the music associated with their teams. And this MGM stage is just legendary and you put an orchestra in here in brass in particular and it is just magnificent. I found it interesting to work on music from many different countries and try to find a way together with Yoav to update it, but still put a national personality in each piece of music. The contrast of sort of the caveman percussion with the sophistication of the Western European orchestra and the choir, when you mix that together with these soccer anthems, I think you have something totally new. It still has to have emotion to it, not just a huge wall of sound. He does require much more of a mixing an orchestra like a rock band approach. I think the idea was to take a song that was sort of iconic for the 60s and these guys really shaped it up into make, make it sound a little more modern. And that's the power of this particular anthem. You know, it's not about, you know, the club team. It's to be a, a supporter of the sport. Um, everything, it ties it together under this one banner. You'll never walk alone. They just sing it together and it's really, it's inspiring. Music and anthems and sports uh, brings people together in a way that nothing else does. Music is a passion of people, it's an international language, and hearing the other anthems was, was pretty exciting as well. In listening to my team's song in a setting like this, you can't help but start feeling a little bit emotional. The other thing that, that music is is the carrier of memories. Fathers are connecting with memories that they had singing as a child and, and now they're, they're doing it with their son. The interesting thing about music is it has a way of bringing us all together regardless of what we believe and what we follow. And so hearing a, a really powerful anthem really uh, touches something inside that is particularly potent. What's special about working with the choir is that that is really, for me, representational of the fans, because it's the voices. It's all those voices singing together. It's close to how it sounds at Anfield, you know, when um, there are all the different fans singing together. I consciously wanted to bring women in, because I wanted to broaden it. You know, the voices were becoming really angelic, and it was beautiful, and it, it really hits you in a deeper um, emotional place. You saw I was starting to pump my fists and, you know, really getting into it. I was transported to a stadium, and I love being involved in things that get me emotional. The great thing about it was improvisation. They do it so well that I could literally just sit back and entrust that everything is going to be as good as it could possibly be. Oftentimes, it was the first take it was magic, and uh, it was a 12-hour day, but it, it went by so fast. It was just so enjoyable sitting in that control room. Showing off.
off. <laughs> Seriously. The diversity was quite striking. It's going to have a, a wonderful, eclectic blend to it. It's music that brings people together, makes them want to sing together. Above all, music that touches you. You know, music that transcends that rivalry. This album really celebrates the beautiful game and the power of music that brings people together. <laughs>